Are you familiar with General Soleimani? Yes. I, I Go ahead. Give me a little. Go ahead. Tell me. It, well, he runs the Quds forces. Yes. Okay. Right. Do, do you expect and his behavior? I think the Kurds, by the way, have been horribly mistreated by us. I no, no the not Kurds. the Kurds. The, the, the Quds forces. The Iranian Revolutionary Guards Quds yes. forces. The bad yes. guys. Right. Do you expect his behavior to change oh, as a result? I Kurds. Kurds. No. Kurds. Oh, I, I'm Kurds. sorry. I thought you said yeah. Kurds. Because yeah. I think the Kurds have been very poorly treated by us here. Go ahead. Agreed. Uh, so, so Soleimani runs the Quds forces. Do you expect okay. his behavior is going to change as a result of this deal with Iran? I think that Iran right now is in the driver's seat to do whatever they want to do. I think what's happening with Iran is, I think it's one of the, and I covered it very well, I assume you saw the news conference. Uh, I think Iran is it's one of the great deals ever made for them. I think it's one of the most incompetent contracts I've ever seen. I'm not just talking about defense. I'm not talking about a contract with another country. I've never seen more of a one-sided deal, I think, in my life. Absolutely. Well, Soleimani is to terrorism sort of what Trump is to real estate. He's okay. uh, Many people would say he's the most dangerous man in the world, and he runs the Quds Forces, which is their Navy SEAL. Do you is think they're the going to stop? the gentleman that was going back and forth with Russia and meeting with Putin. I read something, and that's, that seems to be also where he's at. He's going that's back and forth, meeting with other countries, et cetera, et cetera. That's the guy. And so not good, do you think not good for us? And what it shows is a total lack of respect. I mean, that the other countries would even be entertaining them and they're entertaining them big league, big league. So when when you went before the Senate and I always tell people my favorite testimony of all times when Donald Trump just schooled the Senate on the construction of the U.N. remodel, you know, right. that stuff, you know, every developer in Manhattan, you know, everything about building, building, you could build the wall. I have no doubt about that. Right. But by the way, it's, nobody knows how easy that would be. And I mean, it would be it would be tall. It would be powerful. We would make it very good looking. It would be as good as a wall is going to be. And people will not be climbing over that wall. Believe me. Go ahead. You know, I buy that because you're a builder. But on the front of Islamist terrorism, I'm looking for the next commander in chief to know who Hassan Nasrallah is and Zawahiri and Al Julani and Al Baghdadi. Do you know the players without a scorecard yet, Donald Trump? No, you know, I'll tell you honestly, I think by the time we get to office, they'll all be changed. They'll be all gone. I know I knew you were going to ask me things like this, and there's no reason because, number one, I'll find the, I will hopefully find General Douglas MacArthur in the pack. I will find whoever it is that I'll find. and we'll, But they're all changing you. You know, I, it's, those are like history questions. Do you know this one? Do you know that one? I don't believe in gotcha questions. I'm not trying to, you know, quiz you on who the well, worst guy in the world question, is. Well, that is a question, though. I mean, you know, when you're asking me about who, you know, who's running this, 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 that's not, that is not, I will be so good at the military, your head will spin. But obviously, I'm not meeting these people. I'm not seeing these people. Now, it probably will be a lot of changes, you, as you go along. There'll be, by the time we get there, which is still a pretty long period of time, you know, the you start, let's say you figure out nominations and who 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 is going to represent the Republicans and uh, let's say February, March, April, you'll start to get pretty good ideas, maybe sooner than that, actually. But uh, that will be a whole new group of people. I think what is really important is to pick out, and this is something I'm so good at, to pick out who is going to be the best person to represent us militarily. Because we have some great people militarily. I don't know that we're using them. All right, let me let me expand it because I know it's not gotcha. I'm trying not to do that, but well, I it wanted to see like if gotcha. you, you're, you're, okay, you're we, asking me names that uh, you know. I think it's somewhat ridiculous, but that's okay. Go ahead. Last question. I want to go back to the beginning because I really do disagree with you on the gotcha question thing, Donald Trump. At the debate, I may bring up Nasrallah being with Hezbollah and Al Julani being with Al Nusra and Al Masri being with Hamas. Do you think if I ask people to talk about those three things and the differences that that's a gotcha question? Yes, I do. I totally do. I think that's interesting. Ridiculous. I just disagree with it. I kind of right, figured I that... think it's ridiculous. I'll have I'm a I'm a delegator. I, I find great people. I find absolutely great people and I'll find them in our armed service services and I find absolutely great people and now in the bigger picture like the fact that our Kurds are being, the Kurds are being treated so poorly and and would 
really is the one group that really would be out there fighting for us, I think, and fighting for themselves, maybe more importantly to them. I understand that. But when you start throwing around names of people and where they live and, you know, give me their address, I think it's ridiculous. And I think it's... Well, I, I wouldn't do that. Me. That's crazy. I agree. Well, but the, but I, it's I, an I, interview, not a by debate. By the way, the names you just mentioned, they probably won't even be there in six months or a year. Yeah, I don't know. Nasrallah's got such staying power. And so well, I think the difference... what happens. But, and you know what? In that case... First day in office or before then, right at the day after the election, I'll know more about it than you will ever know. That I can oh, that, I hope so. La- last question. So the difference between Hezbollah and Hamas does not matter to you yet, but it will. It will when it's appropriate. I will know more about it than you know. And believe me, it won't take me long. All right. But that right, I now, believe. right now, I think it's, it's just something that... Uh, and, and you know what? If you ask these candidates, nobody's going to be able to give you an answer. I mean, there may be one that studied it because they're expecting, a, you know, a fresh question from you. But believe me, it won't matter. I will know far more than you know within 24 hours after I get the job. Donald Trump, congratulations on taking the pledge today. Your numbers are going to go up as a result of that. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, I'm not sure that that's true. I think my numbers are very high now, but I'm not really sure that that's true. But I know you feel that. I hope you're right. I mean, let's see what happens. Donald Trump, thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much.